Well, good afternoon, folks. I'm back down at the boatyard today. This is the first time I've been down in about five weeks or so. Um, and that's been just because of the weather and university and things like that. We've had back-to-back -back storms, Storm Kira, Storm Dennis, and as you can see outside, we're, it looks like we're still in the middle of a, a storm at the minute. It's very windy. So I had intended to come down and do some boat projects, but I kind of got overwhelmed with the amount of projects that I was thinking that I, I needed to do and I had to take a step back and plan what it is actually I needed to do before the boat went back into the water and what could be done when the boat is in the water. The, the main focus at the moment is on safety. Safety will take priority. So anything that, that really needs to be done before the boat goes back into the water. And the main safety issue that I think would be is the, as you may have seen from the last video, the, the deck compression or sagging in the deck. So I want to investigate that just to make sure that it, the boat is structurally sound before it goes back in the, the water. And to do that, we need to take the mast down. So that was going to be one of today's projects, was taking the mast down, using um, an A-frame and doing it ourselves. Because we we, we just can't afford a, a crane or any any other kind of system that, that would take it down. I mean, we're in the boatyard, we're quite isolated, so even trying to get a crane down here would be, would be a, a big task. So... I've done some research on other ways to take the mast down by yourself and I've seen that these wooden A-frames that you can construct um, and pulley systems and things like that, there's a way to do it and that was going to be today's task but with the wind the way it is, it's, it's not going to happen so we'll just kind of plug on with small, small tasks um, today and then once the, the weather's better hopefully um, in, the, in the next day or two then that's something we're, we're going to do. After after that, after getting the, like I say, the, the safety county issues fixed, then we'll go on and look at the stuff that needs to be done before the boat goes in the water. So any repairs that need to be done um, below the water line, um, inside and outside of the boat, then we'll, that will be the next focus. But Today, today is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a letdown as regards to what we had planned. But I'll, I'll go ahead today, fix up um, the rest of the A-frame and then just do, do some tasks inside the boat because the weather is horrendous. Got the heat now, get on you. Well, unfortunately, the weather didn't improve, so staying outside to build the A frame wasn't really an option. So the headliner had become a bit old and sagging, so we decided to spend the rest of the day inside stripping off the old headliner. Unfortunately, the old adhesive didn't come off with it, so we used some acetone here and a wire uh, scrubbing brush try and remove some of it. Unfortunately it didn't do too good a job so then we just used um, a normal sanding block and sanding paper which seemed to be a better uh, better option. It removed more so that's how we spent the rest of the day. Down 
of the boat. Um, it's not as windy today, um, a bit nicer, but going to finish building the A-frame and see if we can get the mast taken down. So as it said earlier, um, we seen online on YouTube and in a few forums that the mask could be taken down using yeah. a wooden A-frame and we took some of the measurements that were um, used or listed on the, the forum. So we had four lengths of 4.8 metre uh, 2 by 4 wood and we used two lengths to make each leg and they were overlapped by just slightly over one meter and um, which was going to give us the, the height of the, the apex just above the spreaders on the mast and that's where the, the lifting point was going to be so before we got that um, underway we had to remove the, the boom and took all the, the lines off the mast just to free up um, any loose lines on it to get them out of the road. And once we had the, the holes drilled at the, the right distances then we brought the wood on top of the boat onto the deck to construct it there because it would have been too difficult to construct the A-frame down on the ground and then lift it up onto the boat. So we're just using um, a couple of thick bolts and washers then to to put through the, the two holes and secure the, the legs together. In lieu of not being able to find our hammer, we used the shifting wrench to act as a hammer. At the top end of the A-frame, where the apex would be, we drilled another two holes further up and that would be to tie on two lines to either lead aft or backwards to hold the A-frame in place once it was up. Right. Alright, let's see if that one back to pull it up. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so with the lines leading forward I tied one line around the anchor winch and tried to lift the A-frame that way but once it got up so high um, it just didn't want to go any further and you can see in the middle there with the wind and the pressure that was on the frame it started to, to bow in the middle so I was losing confidence that this frame would have been strong enough to lift the mast So I went about getting another two lengths of wood, they were both 1.2 metres and I connected them onto the A-frame just where you had seen in the previous shot there of the, the mast or the A-frame bowing 
and secure them in with another um, two bolts at each end. And that process was repeated on the other side. So this is what I've constructed. It's an A-frame made from what was two, um, it's actually four lengths of 4.8 meter um, sections of wood um, overlapped slightly and bolted through with these um, M10 by, I think it was. 110 millimeter and 10 by 110 millimeter and um, bolts and washers. So I've got one of the apex here, and that'll be the kind of pivot point where the 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 two legs of the the A frame open up. As it says, originally I had two or sorry four pieces of the the 4.8 meter um, sections of wood, but I found. wind on the A-frame um, yesterday that it looked quite flimsy so I've added another two pieces and they're about 1.2 meter sections here to here just to add a bit of strength around the middle so I'm going to give it a go tomorrow when the wind has settled and the plan then is to um, put the, the feet of the A-frame in around um, the side here, at either side of the, the mast, and lift it up, the A-frame up there, and that will be the, the support mechanism for um, raising the, the mast off the step, and all being well, we'll be able to control it so that the mass lies the, the length of, of the boat. So fingers crossed, weather permitting and construction wise of this A-frame, that will be um, tomorrow's job of getting the mass down and then we can finally get looking at the deck um, and cut a section of the, the deck away there to see what is causing that sagging. Well, fingers crossed, today will be the day that we get the mast down using this A-frame. Feeling confident, Kelly? Yeah. Here we go. Let's get a rope up onto our mast launch. So do you want to winch this babe and I'll get behind and push, push up and then once we get it up a bit and get the feet near the bottom I shall try and yeah so I'll well, come around if you hold it like this and just pull up with it okay.
angle that food in there, love. So the idea was to put the foot, either foot of the A-frame into one of the stanchions and tie it to one of the stanchions that was parallel with the base of the mast. Okay, so winch until you get a... Just pull it, it should go with your hand until it gets tight. That's it. Now, just use the winch now. Right. Stop there a second. Okay, can you want any more? Stop there. Can you get this foot wedged in against anything? If you pull that down, babe, see that rope you have in your hand? Pull it down and figure um, XEO it on the, the cleat and the mast there. So we weren't able to raise the A-frame up any further using the winch Perfect. on the mast. So we actually swapped around um, and Got Kelly it. went to the A-frame and pushed up with her arms and I had to take the lines off the winch and just pulled the lines and the frame was able to go on up as you can see here. <laughs> Two lines then leading forward were tied off to a cleat on each side. Although, as you can see here, I'm making a bit of a hash of it because I'm holding the weight of the A-frame up and trying to do the, the tying off there. And just the same on the other side. So there was two lines, like I say, leading forward and tied off on the cleats. And you'll see shortly that there was two lines leading back, leading um, to the back plates and they were tied off there. So four lines in total holding the A-frame upright. Get a shifty on, I'm losing daylight. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we had the stop here. It was getting a bit late in the day, and we would have meant we ended up taking the mast down in the dark, and that's not what we wanted to do. So, we tied off the A frame and left it there for the night. As always, I just want to thank everyone for taking the time to, to watch the videos. If you'd like to follow along in real time, then consider following along on Instagram. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you.